gamers? I'm Jason and today on Dice and Dragons I'm going to be unboxing the latest Aeon's End game Outcast, once again published by Indie Boards and Cards and designed by Kevin Little, well sorry, Kevin Riley and Nick Little. Don't know why I mix those up sometimes. This time they are also joined by Sidney Engelstein. Now like previous Aeon's End games, well, not previous ones, I'm going to say the most recent one, New Age, you have a narrative expedition experience. So you're going to be venturing forth with your breach mages. You will once again have to use gems to acquire different spells and build up your mage and fight off the assaulting nameless. Now, you won't be protecting Gravehold in this one, but don't worry, there'll be something that you will have to protect across all of your missions. Now this can be played in, through, sorry, through a full narrative experience or as a one-off game. If you want to do that, well, you just have to open up all of the legacy content. Well, we're not going to do that. We're going to show you what's in the box. This will be spoiler light, so keep it right here because we're going to get in there. Now let's take a look at what's in the box for Aeon's End Outcast. Now, as this is the Kickstarter version, we got some other stuff as well. So we'll start by taking a look at Trying to see where there's a good place to open it up. It looks like there is. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can. Uh, there it is. I want to save this packaging, even though it's not the best for the mat. So here we've got the new play mat that was available during the Kickstarter campaign. So similar stuff to what we had before with regards to the Nemesis. The main difference is the. Uh, the bottom part of the outcast mat, which is why you would potentially want to pick it up with the Zaxos outcast mat, Gravehold life dial, turn order deck, current turn order, that's the same stuff. Your supply is the same, but you also get the outcast ability deck. So because of those small changes and the fact that Julie and I just really tend to enjoy play mats, we decided to uh, pick this one up as it'd be a nice addition to the collection. We did get uh, one of the other play mats for the original game. So move that off to the side. We'll also take a look at what's in accessory pack three. Now I don't, I'm definitely not gonna be keeping the box. You can just see on the back that this is what you need to have all the starting cards for all the mages that are included with the uh, Outcast series. So let's take a look as it'll give us an idea as to who these mages are. So these are just dividers. So we've got Zahana for Outcast. I believe she's a mage in another one of the games. We've got Thraxir, Takren for Outcasts, Ku for Outcasts, Quat and Ogmore, Lucian, Kel, Ilya, Desmodia for Outcasts, Karina and Arachno. So these are all the different mages that are included in the two expansions. Now we'll open this up because I want to show some cards as, and also what you get. It's a little trick. Ah, there we go. We got the tab open. So let's see what's in the accessory pack. So primarily what you're getting is just crystals, enough for each mage's starting hand, and then sparks for their starting hands. So that's what you get in the accessory pack. This third one's really just so you have everything pre-organized so you can pick whatever mage you want and get going. All right, now let's take a look at what's in the main box here. Now, there are some legacy and story aspects to the game so I won't be able to showcase everything. We do have the new rule book. So for those of us that are familiar with Aeon's End, I do like the fact that this is on the front. It does tell you what you need to familiarize yourself with. Other than that, you will not need to go through the rest of the rule book. So we have a new narrative booklet, list off the different components. So just, just an explanation of the basics for the game. So here we get the, the new curse deck explanation. So if you're familiar with Aeon's End, most of this is the same. So you'll just really want to follow the instructions there. So it's really simultaneous effects and wandering. And they're just in these ye little yellow boxes. So all the core mechanics remain the same. You just have some quick references on the back to get the game set up and ready to go. So now that I've got the rule book out, we'll place these cards on top of it. 
So we've got the end of expedition rule book. So this is going to give you some instructions. We'll just take a look, set up for the expedition, set up for each game. So this really just tells you how to run your different expeditions and how to reset the game once you've played through it all. Now the nice thing about expeditions is they're fairly easy to uh, reset. So here we've got the narrative booklet that's going to give us the intro stories and set up for the different battles and the story of Aeons and Outcasts. So this is just an instruction on how to set up your first game. So here we've got some different mats. So this is for the Maw Nemesis. That is one ugly looking bunny. So we've got the life tokens, power tokens. Not sure what that token is. We've got some more charge tokens, turn order tokens, and Zahan is Glyph, so these are specific to her. Now you will notice that we also have the Return to Gravehold and Southern Village expansions, as I selected those during my Kickstarter, pre-included in the box, so their content is already in here. I'm not gonna end up keeping those boxes. So we just have some Surge tokens. We've got it's an interesting Gravehold track. I'm guessing this is for Return to Gravehold. So this is an underwater map. So another thing from Return to Gravehold, I'm figuring. Here we've got our new Breach Mages, Karina, Ohad and Ogmore. We've got the two different, uh, the two new Nemesis. So I'm guessing that's probably Return to Gravehold there. Here we've got Wrath and Lucian. We've got two other, well, one other nemesis. So this will be from the Southern Village. Here are the token sets for them. Here are some more token sets for the expansion specific characters. Then we've got Zahana, Takrin, Kel, Ilya, and we're back to Karina. So that's what we've got for this pile right here. We've got a few different dials. Guessing this is the Nemesis Life Dial. They actually feel a little smoother to move, but a little cheaper than some of the uh, previous mats that I've had. So here we've got some of the new specific breaches. You'll notice that they're for different characters. Lucian has some specific ones. Udmore and Quat. Another Lucian breach. And Wrath has a special level three breach. So that's what these are. A D4. Not quite sure what we'll need that for. And then experiment 153, this is going to be the starting nemesis. So, and here we've just got, I'm not gonna take them all, uh, might as well open it up. I'm not gonna put them back in this thing anyway. We've got the different breaches. Levels one through four for all. Actually, I might keep this. If it's easy enough to close, I may keep this just to store these. We've got a few plastic bags that I could use, but this works well for now. So these are just your standard breaches. Now we've got all the different envelopes. So envelope end, 1B, 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B, and envelope four. So you're not gonna open these. You may want to, uh, to keep these. I don't think you necessarily need to once you figure out how everything works. So we do get some pre-included plastic bags for everything. Now, if it looks like we might be missing some mages, as we saw from the earlier dividers, they're probably in here. So I'll put these at the bottom. So here are some more dividers. These are the ones for the two expansions. And then these are the ones that are just for the regular game. Experiment 153, upgraded nemesis cards, relics, turn order cards, gems, level three treasures, randomizers, unique starters, sparks, level one treasures, upgraded nemesis cards, banished cards, so this will just be during your campaign, crystals, spells. So a lot of this stuff, I actually get the feeling I'm, well, not a lot, but a few of these I probably will necessarily keep due to the fact that I've got that accessory pack so I do already have uh, the dividers to get everything nice and organized. So let's see what we've got in terms of the card packs. And we're not gonna take a look at all of them. I'm just gonna pull this out quickly. So that's the 1A front stop deck. So here we've got the promo cards for Aeons and Outcasts. We've got what looks to be our, ah, 
Gotcha. So these are all of the, the components for the two expansions here. Now, which are which, I'm not sure, but we've got these cards that were included. As I'm trying not to spoil anything, really, I don't want to open up too much stuff. Then we really have like the 1A and the 1B pack. So if we're going to take a look, what does it say about our first encounter? So stop. First open the deck, stop 1A. So this will be the first deck that we open. We'll see what we got towards the end. 3A, 3B, 4. And then this is going to be like your reset deck when you get to the end of the campaign. So like I said, don't have too many spoilers or spend too much time showcasing cards. But we'll, we'll definitely open the 1A deck because that's the deck that once we get this to the table, it's going to get opened up. So we'll have to put those envelopes off camera. I'll pile them up right there. So open the 1A deck. We'll leave it in the same order. So we've got the new gems, Molten Peridot, Petrified Phoenixium, Duplicating Sazite, Destiny Forger, Transmitter Lens, Fortified Frost, Twisted Fang, Lightning Arrow, and Tornado of Insight. So it looks like we may need to open up something else before we get to this deck. So possibly that this one of these is not just for the expansions, or we could have something later on in here. We might have to open up 1A and 1B to get everything going, but that's about as much as I can do without getting into spoilers for Outcasts and don't really want to spoil anything on the unboxing. I mean, we already took a quick peek at uh, what we get in the accessory pack. So because of the accessory pack, you do find out some information that uh, would not be readily available otherwise. So let's get everything back in the box. It's a little tricky getting everything back right now as a... <laughs> Haven't quite started organizing it, organizing it all. One thing I'm definitely gonna have to do is get all of my Aeon's End cards sorted. Looks like we've got a little bit of room still here, but not quite to fit all these cards, but maybe once all the plastic is gone, it'll fit for the moment, just to make sure we don't get stuff going everywhere. Throw it into a bag. Yeah, please, 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 indie boards and cards, figure out a way to get Aeon's End stored in a single box. <laughs> we would all love it, or if it's not a single box, two boxes, something, because I'm sitting on five boxes of content right now. So there you have it. We've taken a look at everything that came with the Kickstarter edition, including a few add-ons. So keep it right here. Oh, we had the... D4 that escaped. Let's throw that back in the box. We want to push it in there a little bit. Don't want it damaging the rule book. So as I was saying, keep it right here as I'll be coming back at you with a quick outro. Thank you very much for watching everyone. If you like what you saw, don't forget to click the like button, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when our next video is released. Also down below in the video description, you'll find links to all of our social media feeds. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you like to see pictures of Julie and I playing Aeon's End, when we get to it, you'll also see some pictures of us playing Aeon's End Outcast. They'll all be on those feeds. And then popping up in front of me is gonna be a link, well, two links. The first one over here will take you to our most recently released video. And the one over here will take you back to our review and how to play of Aeon's End New Age. With that being said, don't forget, keep playing games.